How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to the Canvas of Babel by Solar Sands. Alright, so first things first, huge shout out to Sean. Thank you so much for the suggestion and the patience, man. I know I have to like tag that in every time I get a suggestion, but you, you seem to have the record. I, I'm pretty sure it's like 10 months. I think you said like 10 months-ish, you know, but I'm really, really sorry that it took me forever to get to this. It's just... Normally I try to react to like Minecraft stuff and like sprinkle some science and like other things in the mix But like sadly the break and everything kind of like escalated the Length of this, you know, so I'm really excited to get like actually finally get to it You know, it should be really really exciting because you said it's like Mathematical and also like artistic and everything. It should be like everything that I love, you know But I do have to address I know a little bit of a thing called like the library of Babel. That's like a theory I think it's a theory of like every book that has been written or will be written is inside this thing but that's like pretty much my only knowledge of the thing so if it's connected to that in any way shape or form like a hundred percent man I'm all in I'm pretty much invested like two and two so I'm really excited to get this going so without any further ado here is the canvas of Babel okay. there is a website right now Am I supposed to see like a contains a photo a of your boat? funeral it also contains uh, a picture of the day you were born it contains an Whoa. image of every piece of art. Oh, is this the image version exists, of the library? Every piece of art that has ever been lost, and every piece of art that could ever be made. Huh. It contains every frame. I mean, Hitler of was an artist. Do we have those? resolution <laughs> movie of the universe from the beginning of time to the end. Does that include videos, by the way? Angle. And then, because videos are just like frames, right? The those are images. <laughs> a permanent blue pixel in the corner of the frame. In fact, Whoa. it contains every image that could ever Is this just exist. like tricking my brain like a TV it's does? It's called the Babel Image Archives. Okay. On this website is an algorithm. Oh, is it an actual randomized website? randomized fields of pixels in a 640 by 416 pixel canvas using 4096 different colors. That's a the lot. The archive contains 4096 I do not believe there's that many colors. 246,240 unique images. You can upload any image you have on your computer and get a slightly posterized version of it in return with a string of numbers that corresponds to its location. Oh, that is bizarre. Or, if you have 10 to the 961,748 years on hand, I'm you sorry? can click on the universal slide. My feeble brain cannot comprehend how long that is. Your image to appear. This web page is actually a different section. Hey, Library of Babel. More famous That's what I was talking about. The Library of Babel, which is based on the short story by Yes, Jorge Luis okay. Borges, an Argentine Full writer circle, who often grappled with the idea of infinity. In the story, the Library of Babel is it a really boggles your brain, construction man. of hexagonal walls containing shelves upon shelves of books filled with every possible combination of characters that could be fit in 410 That's pages. That's crazy, It contains dude. everything that could ever be written. So this is essentially the art version of the it. complete history of the world, the cures to diseases we don't even know exist yet. A description in of your theory, death. In theory, it's all occur, in there. As well as many, many false That's what's cool about theories, though. Death. Really Since there's no brain. filter for meaning, as you can imagine, the library is overwhelmingly filled with gibberish. Yeah. Can you imagine you actually, like, taking there the time to print that out, though? less mystical version of this concept out there Let me that hear you it. have probably heard it's of. It's probably still before. really cool. The Infinite Monkey Theorem. Oh, if you have I have heard of that, actually. The theorem actually. states that if you have a set of monkeys, or really just one monkey, randomly hitting keys on a typewriter Eventually, for an it'll make amount of time, it will almost surely type any given text. Such as the complete works of Shakespeare. Yeah. You will also almost surely type. <laughs> every you know piece I know this theory. That could ever be written. The problem is that the probability of even enough monkeys filling yeah. up the entire. It's like it is possible, but like the probability of it of happening is very of thousands slim. Of orders of magnitude longer than the age of the universe. Successfully typing the complete works <laughs> of Shakespeare is so low, it might as well be zero. Yeah, even but it's though not. It technically isn't. Despite this, some have attempted oh, this make experiment me with many <laughs> fundamental constraints. Someone named Jesse was Anderson with got a bunch of virtual monkeys, or as we usually call them, computer programs, oh. <laughs> to spit out sequences of That's text perfect way to describe it, man. and match them to all the works of Shakespeare, which they eventually completed. Real monkeys take, pose though? a different challenge, as I imagine <laughs> that the simple shape of the keyboard would cause uneven distributions oh, of which keys are hit. That's fair, also, actually. I honestly didn't think about that. Fitness is a good and then piss on the machine. Oh. <laughs> which is exactly what happened when monkeys at a zoo were given a computer by researchers at Plymouth University. 
The battle okay. image archives is just another is that result rebellion of or just bored with them. enough units to randomize. Although it is not as artfully constructed as Jorge Borges' library or the Library of Babel website, I find it appropriate for this. I had no idea age. this existed, One by the way. turn it into a museum of Babel, with room upon room filled with the same sized images, but to yeah. me it's more like a singular, always changing canvas. The okay. canvas of Babel. That if you are I see where the title comes from lucky, now. could reveal to you the most meaningful images of your life. It could reveal the most powerful work of art you've ever seen. Rats, so you know it what could I'm reveal talking about. the blueprints for a spaceship that travels faster than light speed. You could find images of yourself looking at yourself <laughs> looking at every image in the image archives. Stop. But you will never find That's anything like That's like OBS, like but you will just find and then endless some pictures <laughs> extra layers of noise. The Babel image archives actually makes the Library of Babel seem small in comparison. The Library of Babel contains 10 to the 4,677 books. That number you there said earlier was way 10 bigger to than the 80 that. atoms in the universe. You could fit the universe inside the Library of Babel multiple, and when I say multiple, I mean an astronomically huge amount of times. The Babel That's image crazy, archives man. contains 10 I'm trying to, to keep up on my brain is I can feel it melting. Images. Yeah, that'll you do it. Fit <laughs> the library of Babel inside the Babel image archives multiple times. How many times? Someone has created something that is so out of grasp in terms of hugeness that if you somehow unzip these libraries, it seems like they would simply crash the universe. Balloon its size to a point it <laughs> just completely the universe collapses. just ceases All of to this exist. Contained in an algorithm you can access from a website programmed by one Jonathan Basile. That's the canvas mental, of Babel, man. Oh my nor god. The library of Babel can fit I'm waiting for this, this to just like me I see something. I saw someone in a post say something like, We should search for the secret to immortality. I know the chances uh, are slim, that's a but small it's worth beat a shot. To ask for. And I just wanted to reach through the screen, grab them by their shirt collar, and say to them, Idiot! Your arrogance is your downfall. You cannot even conceive. From my point the of view, the Jedi are evil. Of. To that person, I'm sorry for the harsh words. Let me set you down. But it's true. Let me, let me you see. will not find the secret to immortality oh, on this website. I didn't know there'd be lifetime. humor sprinkled in this. You would be extremely lucky to find even a single coherent sentence. That's An true. image with a concentration but of a pixels chance. that That's even the approaches thing. looking deliberately made. I want to see and one yet, person that I actually that gets a word. Too. Sometimes I think to myself, I should mobilize a million people I want to, to watch forever, their computers though. running the Universal Slideshow just to find something interesting, even just a Pretty small much what I just talked about. of the same color, oh. something that isn't pure random noise. You can still play around with these websites despite the fruitlessness of searching for anything <laughs> in them. It's actually possible to oh. produce images with the Library of Babel, yeah, chat such as creating all the black and white frames in text just a that bad <laughs> Apple video. Or you could simply upload the pages from the Library of Babel onto the Babel image archives, demonstrating one does indeed fit inside the other. Wait. I wonder if there uh. could be an audio <laughs> library of Babel, a Put library an infinite full of number every of arrangement books into of an infinite of number of canvases to produce every piece of audio that could be made. Now or we're going audio. Simpler, could one arrange every possible note to produce every possible song, every possible melody? Well, that's exactly what Damien Real and Noah Rubin did when they created a computer program to Is that generate mad all genius or just genius? the C scale, the area where most popular music resides, that have ever existed and could ever exist. Which comes out to be just a measly 68 billion. Are we just going to do all the senses now? The project was the result My of God. to prove a point. To provide a counter-argument in response to a series Dark. of deeply moronic court cases on supposed copyright violations concerning melodies that one artist okay. plagiarized from another. In the case of George so Harrison, it's all the claim was that one artist could subconsciously plagiarize the melody of a previous artist without consciously remembering that is true. and stealing that work. Anyone who knows a thing or two about music knows this is a dangerous precedent to set because the amount of eight-note melodies that can be made are finite. In fact, yeah. much smaller than the still finite, but much, much larger Library of Babel. Yeah. These three libraries combined house it's almost basically like a every piece level of or creative work man. a human being could make. Naturally, it questions the nature it's essentially of originality. The stepping stones, right? If you ever worry that the story or movie you're planning out isn't original enough, you're right. It literally already exists. Oh, somewhere. stop! There's a part of me that wishes someone like creates an algorithm out to there. search for meaning. And oh, that's what I was talking about, except people. Gibberish. Just like in the short story by Jorge Luis Borges, where a group of purifiers would go around and condemn entire walls of books, throwing them down the infinite shaft, getting rid of everything they deemed worthless. 
but how does one construct a machine to look for meaning? Okay, you answered my question. What if there is a text that uses very little real words, but is nonetheless extremely moving somehow? How about all the words that haven't been invented yet? How what does about a person know artworks? what's important and What not? about works like those of yeah, Mark Rothko? Yeah, exactly. Some will argue cannot be fully appreciated in a simple picture. And oh, I don't really appreciate those types of art. Sludge of meaning. It is about like the, the feeling. In a sea of lies. Van Gogh. Sorting algorithms are currently a trendy topic. I don't on like the algorithms. Internet. You may have seen some of the many like oddly mesmerizing and musically beeping videos that try to visualize the different ways a computer can sort different elements into an ordered list. Uh -huh. There's heap sort, quick sort. I mean, you put sort, computers in anything that makes goals. it like way faster. Take a bunch of random elements and order them. And then there's bogo sort, easily the most popular sorting algorithm to consume I never heard these of it. videos. Not because it's any good actually oh. quite the opposite because <laughs> it is the worst most useless sorting algorithm oh it's something of a joke <laughs> while bubble sort is considered the generic bad algorithm because it is very inefficient bogo sort is as inefficient as someone could possibly get got it bogo sort takes whatever elements you give it reshuffles them randomly checks them and if they aren't ordered, reshuffles them again. <laughs> okay, until they I can see how ordered. that's useless. It's kind of like someone in the Library of Babel. I mean, technically, you'll get it, right? Shelf, Eventually. Picking up a book and expecting to find Literally the, the theme of the day. The interesting thing, as many have pointed out, is that Bogo Sort is actually the fastest sorting algorithm of them all. If you're if very you are lucky. Astronomically lucky. It could. <laughs> that has to go beyond luck, though, try. man. It's time to complete its sort. Some divine intervention stepping in. Infinity. Yeah. The quantum bogo sort is even more guaranteed. It generates all possible permutations I, in I every universe some, or... and simply destroys every universe except for the one it is sorted in. Okay. Bogo sort has a certain allure. Zeno from Dragon People Ball treat Super. It as if it were a person. Some users have uploaded ludicrously long videos and commenters point out timestamps where bogo sort gets so close but ultimately uh... fails. There's this I saw that, psychological man. That was about halfway that still done. with all of these impossible odds. That maybe Bogo Sort will work instantly this one time. That the libraries will reveal something to me. I guess that's like a human I'm thing, right? In Hope. Some way. And it's like, well, well maybe it'll the work. odds aren't technically zero. It's the same mentality that makes the lottery work. <laughs> the great thing about art that's an excellent is that way to I put really it, man. feel like someone is simply a form of in money. Some slot Everybody understands some that. Universal list. As if we were just animals generating permutation after permutation of every work of art that could be made until we happen upon the ultimate artwork. Only in truly soulless art, but how do you like determine what the ultimate artwork is? Where it really is? does seem like someone is going through and finding what animal I don't animal think one human could decide that. I don't think many humans could decide and that. Making that collection just to make it, just to fill in that slot. To squeeze out that last I don't penny, like NFTs. <laughs> do I feel this machine-like I made a couple just for my even characters I made in the past. Even works of art. I didn't want money. Those with even a modicum of vision have to map onto a loose structure of meaning. Meaning makes art. The reality is that the canvas fair. of Babel, That's very the library fair. of Babel, and the audio library of Babel all contain everything that could I only ever knew be the written, library of Babel. imagined, or heard. But you will never find anything of use. You simply can't. They're about as useful in finding something uh, of meaning as saying needle in the haystack, the meaning of life man. exists somewhere. It's 42. The only way you Everybody find knows that. meaningful art in these libraries is by making it yourself. That's fair. Or you have you're like a freaking god with zero time or you, all the time in the world. Oh, that was it, dude. I was getting really invested in that. <laughs> All right, so that was amazing, man. That that literally like everything I was hoping it would be, you know, like the whole like possibilities, you know, like lack of a better word, it all boils down to like the possibility that it could produce an image, you know, and like going back to like the Library of Babel, like it could have like a Shakespearean art, for instance, you know, like we don't really have the mental capacity to like, or even the time, you know, to like sit there and just like go through every single thing that that thing has to offer, like for us to actually find something useful. So like the chances of it is very, very, very slim, but it's not zero, which is like, 
what I love about it, you know? Like, I'm all about, like, possibilities and, like, hope and, like, thinking positively and stuff like that. So, like, if you have, like, something like this, like the freaking Canvas of Babel, that, like, really boggles my brain because it's like, well, you can find artwork, like, really cool stuff in there, but like he said, like, the chances of you finding it, you kind of have to make it or upload it yourself into it. So, it's just like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's really messing with my brain. Like, even after watching it, I'm just like, like I said at the very end, you know, I was really getting invested in it and it seemed like it just, like, cut off. You know, I wanted more knowledge and stuff, even though it's technically randomized and stuff, so we can't really have that much knowledge about it, just like the idea of it itself, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But I'm not even going to try to, like, say I comprehend everything about this because it's it's literally, I don't want to say literally, but it's like, it's so un comprehensible that it's just pretty much randomized the entire time but it's technically there is a chance that I keep going back to that but like it is true man there like there is a chance that we could kind of like the monkey thing you know like there is a chance that a monkey could type Shakespearean artwork but the chances of that happening astronomically slow man it's like ridiculous might as well be zero like he said in the video so all in all fantastic man i'm gonna end it here because i'd be babbling about this for a while Ben babble but <laughs> i mean talking about this for like the entire day man but i cannot get enough of this stuff like things that make me like think and it boggles my brain and like possibilities and stuff like 100 percent, man i'm gonna always be on board with that so i love this man i love this so much i might have to check out some more stuff and the things you reacted to or suggested as well i might have to react to them in the future so i <laughs> think I don't even know like how to do my outro right now. My brain's so fogged. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member, you get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. That has been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days.